everyone welcome to tech scale so today we're going to install droid on time that is dot os in our poco f1 so here is the phone and let me tell you guys that right now i am on derp fest roam so i'll be uh, migrating from this roam to the dot os and i'll guide you how you can also do that if you're on another custom roam so before doing that first of all there is a routine procedure that we do we go to security lock and we go to the screen lock and we remove the pin that we have set up in our phone i'll Type it on none and it will say device production won't work so we don't need that so as you can see right now there will be no screen lock on our phone right so after this uh, the very standard procedure that is to go to the twrp section by pressing the volume up button this and power button both at the same time so i'll be pressing this and phone will vibrate for a while and it will show the poco logo and it will automatically go to the twrp section So here we are on the TWRP section as you can see. So before doing that, what I'll do is I'll, if you are migrating from any other custom ROM, make, make sure that you back up all your data before you install it because this might end in boot loop or something. So don't, don't just, you know, dirty flash it or you have to have to wipe the whole of the data. That is, you have to format the data for this. So please, please, uh, keep your data backed up so that you don't lose your data while you install this. So I'll go to wipe. I will go to format data and I'll type here as, as yes. And I'll press this tick mark. So automatically this will, this will, you know, format all the data in my phone and I will reboot it. And again, go to TWRP section by pressing the volume up and power button both at the same time as you can see. It will vibrate again. And yeah, we are on TWRP section again. So what I'll do is I'll simply go to my laptop and I will copy the room file quickly, right? So here the room file is. And let me just copy it and I'll fast forward the video for you. So I have successfully copied the ROM file in my phone. As you can see, if I go to install section, you will, uh, I will see this dot OS file. So I'll click on this and I'll simply confirm to flash. So again, I want to tell you people that whosoever is migrating from another, another or a custom ROM, any other ROM, you have to wipe all your data that, that means you have to format all the data before you install it. Otherwise you might, you know, end up in boot loop or something and the ROM will not get installed, right? So just back up your data and that's the best thing you can do while installing any custom ROM. You don't know what can happen. So always back up your data. So since uh, for the time being that the ROM is getting installed, let me show you the spec specifications. Uh, as you can see, the Android version is 11. The security patch is of 5th of May 2021. Definitely, uh, we will get another build soon because the another uh, uh, June security patch is coming up. So let's hang on there and, and see what the developers are up to for the next build. So uh, for the time being, it gets installed. I will quickly fast forward the video and I'll see you on the boot screen. So as you can see, we have got it done here and we will quickly reboot the system. That means ROM have been installed and we will now see the boot screen of .OS after this POCO boot animation. There is no animation although but that's how it is let's see the dot os now so here is the awesome animation of dot os let's see how much time it takes to boot up the last time i installed this room that that experience was super awesome because this is one of the finest one of the most beautiful looking room out there and a lot of stability so i'll also be doing a geekbench uh test and a anti to test for this particular room to tell you people how good is it while performing so do subscribe to the channel for the same and if you are interested in uh, watching more videos on custom rooms more videos on uh you know a lot of other tech and stuff so you can subscribe to the channel and share this with your friends right so what i'll do is i'll quickly set this phone up and i will see you in the in the other side of the video right so here we are this is dot os's home screen as you can see trust me guys from the previous build this looks a lot better at least the wallpaper it's super amazing and uh and look at the notification bar just have a look this is super amazing doesn't look like any ordinary custom room and 
see here we have something going on here this says unlock with a glance that means we all also have a face unlock option already available in the settings and just have a look at the settings menu this is super smooth I just just look at this and and on top of that this is super refined doesn't look like a custom rom uh, feels like some oem have made it maybe like you know uh, one ui or something but this is amazing uh, i i must say and let's go to the battery and look at the animations they have a lot of things going on we have thermal profiles right and other than that we have adaptive battery that's already available in most of the things and here we can see we have the fingerprint and here screen lock and here we have the face unlock setup as well right so by by the way this device is pre-encrypted that you know uh, already encrypted while we install it out of the box so you don't need anything uh, what is this okay we'll see about this later and other than that as you can see if i go to the display settings we have very beautiful looking this just look at the animation just look at the animations there you know performing so we also have a dark theme support as you can see right so other than that let's let me pick it back yeah so in night light live display cells in wallpapers I'll, I'll also go to the wallpapers and just have a look at the theming section we have even action colors i'll put it green everything will become green in a very okay just go to green man i don't know for some strange reason let's go to is there any red okay we go to pinkish is there anything working i don't know not I, I cannot see any change by the way so we'll definitely look into this if if there is any problem going on other than that if i go to the about phone section as you can see we have another animation going around everything is animated in this room just have a look so in the dot os it's version 5.1 android version 11 and as you can see we have beautiful looking about phone section and android 11 as always you know so we have we have that here so other than that just look at the animations they look super smooth and i think the app loading time is great trust me it looks super awesome and chrome settings as you can see photos and everything is just super smooth other than that we i i am also going to perform uh, as i told you the anti2 benchmark and the geekbench for the performance testing like how how well does this phone perform so do subscribe to the channel for the same and I, as I told you that I keep posting a lot of videos on tech and a lot of videos on custom room. So do subscribe to the channel if you are interested in that. So that's all for this, this dot OS. And if you are more interested, okay, let another thing that people uh, keep asking is, is about the safety net. Let's have a look at the safety net if it works. Uh, safety net. Yeah. So I'll install it. Let's have a look if, if, if this goes fine installing and open so run test as you can see safety nets net passes by default and let's that's a good thing so all all your apps the your banking apps will run out of the box other than that let's check wide wine support if it had it wide wine alwandra so drm info i'm going to check i'll install this let's see if it's uh open and yeah so as you can see the wide wind security level is of l1 just in case you people wonder right so that's all for this video and i will see you people in the next one and do subscribe to the channel if you found this video helpful so that's all for this video i'll see you in the next one Bye bye